Seahawks versus Buffalo Bills. The Seahawks come at six and one. The Bills come at six and two. Uh, the Bills started really hot this season, especially behind the back of Josh Allen. Josh Allen looked like an MVP candidate when the season started. He was playing amazing. Everyone thought he had made that jump into the upper echelon of quarterbacks. He was an MVP candidate. Everybody was singing his praises. I remember all the articles, all the TV shows were talking about him. Damn, is Josh Allen an MVP candidate? Is Josh Allen a uh, top five QB? Uh, is he the best quarterback in his class? Comparing him with... Lamar Jackson, they're saying he made that jump. Everyone's praising the Bills. And then they play the Titans. And then they play the uh, Chiefs. And then even last week against the Patriots, he hasn't looked that good. The offense is not looking as explosive. They do have Stephon Diggs. They do have Brown. They do have Singletary. They do have Moss. So they have some weapons. But Josh Allen just needs to get focused again, basically. I, th- I think he's been a little lazy with his mechanics. He... Everyone was praising how he worked on his fundamentals over the season. I remember watching the first two or three games. Everybody was highlighting how he was like, he. I think he does like a little hop into his throw that helps him be more accurate on his down the field passes. Everyone kept putting like the the little statistic where it said that uh, Josh Allen on deep throws, I think he was shooting like 30% less. He was throwing like 30% last season or maybe lower. And then this this season he had picked it up to, I believe, like 60. Or, he was leading the NFL. I know those numbers has gone down in the last three weeks. He's not scoring those rushing touchdowns that we're accustomed to seeing him. He's being a little clumsy with the ball. He's had some turnovers. So I think this is a good matchup for Josh Allen. This is a good week to get back on track. The Seattle defense is not what it used to be. It's no longer the Legion of Boom. You no longer you no longer have Richard Sherman, Cam Chancellor, Thomas. You still have Wagner, but that defense is weak. It's 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 the Achilles point for that team. They can't get pressure on the quarterback. They give up a lot of passing yards. The run defense isn't that good. That defense might be the worst defense in the NFL. The only reason the Seahawks are this good is because they have the top MVP candidate and Russell Wilson. He's amazing. I love Russell Wilson. Ever since he came out of college, I've always thought he was an elite quarterback. He's looked good since he came out. And this year, he's putting everything together. He has, I think, the second most touchdowns through seven games in NFL history. He's on pace to score over 50 touchdowns this week. I mean, this season. Russell Wilson is the truth. I, I, it still baffles me that he's never had an MVP vote in his whole career. Get this man an MVP vote. Get this man the MVP trophy. Get this man another Lombardi trophy. I'm a big Russell Wilson fan. I would like to see him lift up another trophy. But in this game specifically, I think the Bills do have a chance just because they have a lot of weapons on offense. And the Seahawks defense is atrocious. The Bills defense has been teetering on like good and bad. Sometimes they have good, really good games, and then some other games they get exposed. But I think the Seahawks are too are too. They have too much, too many fire. fire uh, they have too much firepower. They they score too many points. They're, they're they're the highest scoring offense in the NFL. I believe they score around thirty five points uh, a game, and I see them reaching that that mark again this week. Metcalf, Lockett, Olsen. They're going to be without Carson this weekend, but honestly, Russell Wilson can make it work with any wide receiver. He has Now he has a lot of weapons. Now you see his weapons, and you're like, whoa, Metcalf, Lockett. You, you, look, you look across the board more, I think, is one of their wide receivers, and you're like, all right, this is a nice wide receiver court. But the start of his career, they never really got him weapons, and he still made it work. Baldwin, shout out to Baldwin. He was a good wide receiver, but they had uh, Tate. They had some good smaller wide receivers. When they won the Super Bowl, curse. But then he never had like a real number one, kind of like DK Metcalf. And then he just opens up the, the rest of the field. Locke is the most underrated wide receiver in the NFL. So I think the Seahawks are going to come out victorious. It's going to be a high-scoring game for sure. Like I said, the Seahawks defense is never going <laughs> to... It seems like the like the Seahawks can never get a comfortable win. It's always a shootout. It's, it's always towards the last seconds, towards the last minutes of the fourth quarter. But... They have Russell Wilson, one of the most clutch quarterbacks ever in the NFL right now, for sure. But even ever, if you have if Russell Wilson has the ball at the end of the game, I feel very confident that he's going to pull the game out. He wasn't able to do it against the Cardinals a couple weeks back, but that's another story. Is I mean, he's not perfect, but I do think they have enough to beat the Bills this weekend. 
I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I think it's going to go into the 30s. I see the Seahawks putting 35-plus on the Bills. So I, if I were to put a number to it, i say the I say the Seahawks put 36 and the Bills just because Josh Allen is going to get is going to get back into the rhythm for my sake too because I have him in two fantasy football leagues I think he's going to get back on track he's going to have three or four touchdowns so I say it's 36 28 Seahawks win um it is in Buffalo so I know they're going to miss their fans I know if, if Bills Mafia was there they would have a better chance but unfortunately, I believe no fans are going to be in attendance. So that's really going to hurt them. I know they they would appreciate having their fans to have to help them beat the Seahawks. But it is what it is. Seahawks 36, Bills 28 is my prediction for that game. 